Conius back. Today I'm flying from Lordsburg Airport in New Mexico to Las Cruces Airport, also in New Mexico. For some reason we were placed out in the general aviation parking field, uh, not even paved. Um, not exactly sure why, but that's okay. We can taxi over to the runway. Um, I'm guessing it's because there aren't any pushback services or any other kind of ground services here. So I'm going to pop my head up just a little bit, take off the parking brake, and we'll get ourselves over to the runway. I've already flown up with the drone uh, to find out exactly where it is, so I think I know how to get there. beautiful day here. I assume New Mexico is on mountain time, so it's probably 4.30 in the afternoon. It's 3.30 on the Pacific, uh, on the West Coast. Okay, so somewhere over here, I'd probably follow this line here. That's what I'm guessing. Flaps down because that probably didn't happen either. All right, so this appears to be the runway. I'm going to slow down and take a peek, but it seems like I'm kind of on my own. Co-pilot hasn't contacted the tower. Um, didn't even hear anything. At runway nine. Hmm. Maybe there's supposed to be <laughs> there's probably supposed to be a runway where I was parked and they don't know about that in the game or something. Or parts of the game. Alright. Anyway. Look to the right. Look to the left. Okay, that looks like a runway. Uh, I don't know if I need to go down to one end of it or not, but I think I'll be fine. It looks like it's pretty long going in that direction. So we'll give it a shot. We're already at 4,200 feet, so I've set a flight level of 7,500 feet. Alright, need to slow down. Okay. Alright, let's give this a shot. If it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to make it, then I will figure out what I have to do at that point. Alright, taking that dead zone out of my pedals has really helped with being able to control during takeoff, the runner. A little bit finer micro adjustments. We're overstressing the engine, let me pull back on that. That's not good. Alright, looks like we're gonna be okay. So let me go ahead and lift off. Oop. The plane was already kind of taking off on its own. Flaps up. See if we can gain some speed. And looks like I need to start turning in this direction. Hey, H301, continue for east departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. All right, well, there's ATC. I don't know why Tower I ended K, up H301, in the grass, for east but departure. that's okay. All right, so I'm going to need to steer more into in line, I think. Looking at the magenta arrow with the broken lines. Alright, so I see the gap closing. So we'll level off at 7,500 feet eventually. Looks like we're doing a good job of gaining speed and altitude. Just trying to get.
get us back on the proper flight course. Okay, I think that's close enough to turn. hazy outside. When I flew to Lordsburg it was also very hazy, not a lot of detail. I don't know if that's the game. I've got my graphics settings uh, at Ultra here at full, de full high def. But I think it's just a lack of detail in the game because this is a very out, you know, desolate area. Nothing much around here. Kind of like those uh, late afternoon sun shots with the lens flare and the sun rays coming off. Yeah, so again, not a whole lot to see out here. Hoping it gets a little bit interesting when we get to Las Cruces. Okay, so we're going at a good speed, so maybe we'll get there pretty quickly. seeing for the last two or three flights on the ground, going through Arizona to, to New Mexico. I mean, it seems if we could develop this land, it could be very useful. I found a pilot's uh, flight planning online service, and I'll put a link in the description. Um, but you can put in your departure and destination airports, and it'll show you the straight path on the map. And it's got a very detailed flight map, and there's something interesting that will fly sort of in the vicinity of. It says that there's a you know, caution, unmarked balloon on cable to 15,000 MSL, which I guess means something above sea level. So, uh, is that meters? Anyway. So there's something way up there on a cable owned by uh, the Department of Homeland Security, I guess, or the INS or something, I guess spying over the Mexico border. Not allowed to go near there. I doubt the game has the balloon and the cable, but it would be pretty funny if it did. Seems unlikely that that would actually have been found and replicated. But it is kind of nice to see everywhere I'm going on the map, and it shows you outlines of all kinds of things pilots need to be aware of. VOR angles, um, airport areas. There's an enormous red zone around Tucson Airport, which I just left a bit ago, saying there's a VIP coming, and you know, all sorts of restrictions, it's just bright red on the map. Um, and I can kind of imagine why that might be. Um, 
So like I said, I'll put a link in the description. It seems pretty nice. I don't know if accounts are free, but I think I might sign up for it if I can. To help me with flight planning, kind of see where I'm going and what I'm getting into with different airports. Um, a lot of things mark defense area and stuff like that on this map. It's again right next to the Mexico border, so we're doing enforcement sorts of things. There are some no-fly zones as well. Wish I could uh, show that to you in real time, but I'll put that in the video later if it's possible. Inside for a minute. So it's kind of nice to pretend to be inside and look around and look out the plane window. But there's nothing to look at, unfortunately. <laughs> Maybe with the coming US update, there'll be some more detail here. Even if I zoom in, there's just really not much to see anywhere. See some mountains off in the distance, maybe I can scope those really quickly. Okay, well that's somewhat interesting. But not that much interesting. Okay, anyway. Let's go back outside. Flight seems to be stable. The autopilot's got it under control. Going at a nice speed. Good altitude. I don't think we're going to encounter any mountains to have to jump up over. It's just not a very interesting flight, unfortunately. But there's always ways to make it more interesting. Um, playing with the drone can be kind of fun. I'm not sure why it defaulted here, but that's a very interesting view. So I'm locked to the plane, but I'm pivoting. I'm not uh, focused on it. Let's see, if I go focus on the plane, then it'll... Um, well... I think when I move it, it's supposed to... Eh, I don't know. Actually, I'm a little confused by that. Let's reset position. So what I was trying to do is park around it, although we're just going to the left. Not really parking around it. Interesting. Yeah, it feels like it's acting funny. I'm probably just doing something wrong. Um, I don't usually use it in lock. You should follow mode off, that's where the plane takes off. And that's kind of interesting, you can uh, let the plane go off a certain distance and then re-establish the connection and get pulled along. So, these aren't particularly interesting, but, you know, what else is there to look at? Let's see. Go to 100%. Oh, okay, so one theory I had is, can I actually go look at the instruments really quick if I'm worried about the plane? Let me... Okay, there's the instruments, and then go back to the drone. Okay, good, that does work. Uh, do have to keep an eye on engine thrust, especially. All right, so some roads down here. American They almost look paved, although it's a little hard to believe that they're paved. Maybe they're water? No, those are, uh... Going to Albany 
Cape Woods. Sounds like ATC is having trouble contacting a real flight. Alright, so this must be some farmer's house or something. This looks so lonely out here in the middle of nowhere. Albuquerque Center KH301 is type Cessna Caravan 19 miles west of Kilo Delta Mike November. Request flight following. KH301 Albuquerque Center. Squad 3641. Skywest Flight 266, contact Albuquerque Center on 134.45. Squawk 3641, KH301. KH301, radar contact 17 miles west of Kilo Delta Mike, November 7,500 feet. Altimeter 30.02. Copy KH301. Something over here, I'm not sure what that is. Um, set our speed back up. We're actually going faster than the plane. <laughs> That's funny. Can I see it? Yeah, I see a little speck on the screen. Exojet 539 or contact Albuquerque Center on 134 decimal. Alright, well this is just a little hill with some green stuff on it, so that's no big deal. Um, kinda wish there was a way to return to the plane without resetting the speed. Um, I just cannot tell where the plane actually is. Let's see, is there a way to figure it out? This way. Oh well, I'm gonna go back. There we are. Go back to the external view. Alright, that's the easier way to swing around the plane to take photogenic shots. Kind of what I'm stuck with. There's nothing much else, else interesting to look at around here, so it's sort of playing with the camera, looking at the plane. Uh, if I do see something, I could go investigate. Uh, looks like a settlement towards the right. I have to reset my speed. This is old agricultural stuff here. Those dark spots maybe think make me think it's it was either on fire or it's somehow related to um, <laughs> cattle. All right. 
some houses and stuff here. Probably says all farming industry. There's Deming Airport. That was one of my choices, but I thought I'd go all the way to Las Cruces. These little round spots of civilization. Interesting. Maybe those are parks. Can't really tell much. The satellite photo is kind of crummy. But yeah, maybe those are parks or business parks or something. Hmm. There's the airport. Of course, we're being carried along with the plane. Go. Check on the instruments. Speed is good. We're not too close yet. In a bit, I'll start descending a little. And here we are back. I don't know if those would really be houses in the middle of the field. They're probably equipment, but AI is putting houses there. That's interesting. I doubt there'd be an apartment building like that there. That's kind of funny. Yeah, well that's kind of the entertainment we're stuck with for now. Maybe that's a school or something, but I don't know why it's in the middle of a field. If I head straight towards in the same direction as the plane, I ought to be able to catch up with it because we're going faster than it. Don't know how high I am though right now on the drone. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to switch back. Go back inside. Gotta remember not to use the left stick inside. That's what I meant to do.
back outside. Square up the view. Alright, so we're a little less than 30 nautical miles. When we get to about 10 away, Copilot will make contact. I wonder what airport that is. Um, let's see, looking at my flight map. Oh, solo range. Okay, it's showing up on the screen. Yeah, I don't see that here. It's probably in fine print. So. to the drone because they're starting to jump around. Hmm. Maybe it didn't. <laughs> Alright, so need to recorrect the view here. And let's go take a look at Solo Ranch. Oh, speed. I'm guessing it's a dirt landing strip or something. If anything, it doesn't even look like it's that. Um, okay, so that's an airport, I guess. Um, I mean, I guess you can just take off in the dirt and you're fine. Or maybe it's that. Is that a, that's a road. I don't know. That's very strange. But, I mean, it's flat, so you could certainly land and take off there, I would think. And then there's Burr's Ranch, let's so take a look at that one. Again, I've got to do this. Maybe I should set the default to 100%. Yeah, it's Burr's Ranch. Okay, so now is this an airport? Nope. It's just a piece of dirt. But again, it's nice and flat, so I guess that's maybe for crop dusting purposes or something. And then I see a freeway here that just sort of disappears. <laughs> Where does it go? Um, that's kind of strange. Just disappears into the dirt and it's gone. And then cars are emerging from it. Getting close to transitioning to landing. Again, not much to see out there. The same old patterns on the ground over and over again. KH301 traffic is 12 o'clock, 4 miles at 9,900 feet generic. Report them in sight. Alright, so I guess a couple thousand feet above us. Uh, but straight ahead, there's some Generic traffic. Generic 4-H traffic is 1 o'clock, 3 miles at 7,500 feet, says the caravan. And they're telling Report them, them about us. Oh yeah, we can actually see them right there on the map. They're pretty close. I wonder if that's a player. I have, I should, I'm thinking about turning tagging on so you can see Generic who's who. Have the traffic. But it would be cool if it's a player passing by. Maybe we can see, we can see something. That's right, I'm going to go the other direction. Oh yeah, there they are. Right up there. Well, we're supposed to report if we see them. I do see them. I don't know how to tell them that though.
I'm not sure why it's a generic. I have generics turned off, but you never know. Alright, square up the view, go back inside. We're already squared up in here. The pilot's about to make contact with Las Cruces. So it looks like it's probably going to be a pretty straight in landing. We left on a freeway labeled 9, landing on a freeway labeled 8, so pretty much a straight path to straight path. Wind seems pretty calm, don't know what it'll be like near the ground. That kind of bit me the last time when I landed in Lordsburg. Was smooth the whole way and then got very bumpy right near the ground. Traffic KH30111 miles west, 7,500 feet inbound to land runway 8. Alright, so I'm going to disengage autopilot. Take over. We are going to slow way down. Going to put the flaps down. And push hard on the stick to keep from stalling. We slow down quickly and head in right into the pattern. Alright, some more thrust now that we're dropping in speed pretty drastically. But that was a nice quick slowdown. I don't know how much stress that would have put on the plane. It didn't seem like it was too much, but we slowed down rather quickly. Um, I'm gonna pop my head up so I can see this a little bit better. Okay, I have quite a very long landing pattern 10 nautical miles out from the airport, but that's perfectly fine. The speed's a little on the low side, but we're also a little elevated, so we can make that up easily enough. Normally while flying I have one hand on the stick and then occasionally the other hand on the throttle or buttons. But when I'm landing, I like to put both hands on the stick. Okay, we're lifting up at this point for some reason. Or I need to slow down a little bit. No? Yeah, I think I'll just drop throttle. I want to help. Anyway, two hands on the stick make this a lot smoother than just the one. I do plan to get a yoke sometime. Alright, so I can see the runway now, just straight ahead of us. Still going too fast, so let's uh, drop thrust a little bit more. Right again as I descend, but I do need to get. I need to, do need to drop some altitude. All right, so I think as we level off, we'll start to slow down again. <laughs> I might need to just turn a little and kind of use up some of that speed. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Still too fast, wants us to go under 75. We'll get there in a second. There we go. Alright, so now we just want to keep the speed low without stalling. Keep the descent angle right on. So we're not accidentally getting altitude with a lower speed by accident. Seems like a nice, simple, straightforward landing. I should probably just level off a little bit, okay. Roll-wise. It's 
so our speed is good. We're still we're dropping closer to that white bottom of that white line where we'll stall the flaps. If it gets much lower, I'll give it some thrust. I don't want to stall. Kilo Lima Romeo uniform traffic KH301 is on final runway. Too slow either. We'll get, uh, look, turn red for going too slow. Okay, so take that thrust back. That ought to keep us going for a while. Sort of a delicate balance. You want to give it as little thrust as possible, but you don't ever want to get the plane close to stalling until your wheels are on the ground. It seems straightforward. We're just dropping in speed. I think a uh, little bit of thrust, also a little drop in altitude, ought to take care of that. some more, bring it back up if we need it, but it would be nice to just get closer to that line without crossing over it. I don't think that would have done any damage though, it didn't seem that hard. Alright, so we are on the ground, let's uh, let's get ourselves over here, off the runway. Alright, a little bit more. Set the parking brake. And let's see what we have to do here. And now it's clear of runway. Yep. Kilo Lima Romeo, uniform traffic KH301 is clear of the runway. Alright, so I don't think there's any uh, tower to deal with here. We just go park somewhere. So I guess that means I'm not actually supposed to be right there. Although, this seems like where you would go. Anyway, maybe we can come over here and park.
plane off. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.